Happy 2017! Wow, hopefully everybody is off to a really good start. Uh, you had a chance to watch the video where I talked about kind of finding your motivation. Um, I told you about the doctor's appointment that I had with my teenage daughter where the doctor asked if her mom had always been fat. Um, I neglected to mention that we changed doctors shortly thereafter. Um, there were other things that motivated me along the way. I did join a gym and you know, and then I bought the gym, and that was a motivator because people don't want to join your gym if you're fat. So that helped me get some of the weight off. But, um, you know, I, I was relatively healthy, but I would say that I have been overweight until probably, you know, in 2000, I don't know, 15, 2000, late 2014, I really started to take it seriously. Um, I have learned some things along the way. One thing I've learned is that if you're going to if you're going to cheat once, you will cheat again. So if you've set a goal for yourself to go seven days without sugar, then go seven days without sugar. Self control is a muscle, and it gets stronger with use. Break it in. You got to start somewhere. So if you can only do it for 24 hours, do it for 24 hours. But make a promise to yourself and keep that promise. I would um, challenge you guys to find some um, some common ground. Find groups of supportive people. There are Facebook groups. Um, there are, you know, let your friends and family know what you're doing, that you're just trying to get healthier. You're not on a diet. You're trying to get healthier. And, um, and read everything you can get your hands on. Educate yourself. Accountability is really, it, it, it kind of helped me a lot. I wanted to show you one thing that I do. This calendar, I think this one is probably my first one. This is from 2015. And every you can see at the beginning of the month, you probably can't see because it's bad, but at the beginning of the month, I take my measurements. I measure my, I measure everything, including my body fat and my weight, and I write it down on the first of the month. And every single day, I check off whether I worked out or not. I write down my weight for that day, and I write down my steps for that day. That's 2015. This is 2016. And the cumulative record is down at the bottom. You can see it's like scribbled on and whatever. But I know that I'm gonna have to write all of that down every day, my, my weight and whether I did my workout. I do things purposefully and I have started my calendar for 2017. And you can see right here, it has all of those starting measurements. Um, I wanna tell you that over the past year, I have lost 5.2 pound, 5 pounds, 7 inches, um, 1 pound and 3 ounces worth of body fat. So I changed fat to muscle, a pound and 3 ounces worth. I've done 293 workouts in 2016, and I walked 2,146 miles, and probably a little bit more than that, because my goal was to walk 2016 miles for the year, and once I hit that, I kind of slacked off on keeping track of my pedometer, but, but I did all right. I drink half of my weight in water, ounces of water, every single day. That's a non-negotiable. I gave up soda, don't do any soda. I don't drink anything but, so but water. I do drink um, carbonated water, soda water at restaurants, seltzer, whatever, but um, water's the way to go. So hopefully by now you've kind of spent some quality time with yourself thinking about your motivation. And, you know, maybe I don't know how old most of y'all are, but my friends are being diagnosed with, with age-related diseases. And right now, that is my motivation, to keep myself as healthy and strong for as long as possible. Um, I have a really wonderful life and a lot to live for, and, and I look forward to waking up every day. So... I'm motivated to keep myself healthy, to give, to make decisions that 
are good now. You know, maybe they're give up what I want now for what I want later. I, I might want that piece of pie now, but I'd rather be healthy in the long run and make a decision that's going to affect me um, later. Uh, remember to, you know, trust yourself, develop your self-control muscle, and, and find a way to be accountable. Have an accountability partner or um, have a tracking mechanism. Okay, here's my cat. Hello, Gypsy. Would you like to join us? No, he'd like to move. Anyway, happy 2017, and if there's anything specific I can help you with, let me know.